Hi everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today we have the Xperia XZS. I'm going to show you how to use the camera to take pictures and record video. So you want to go to the camera icon here and uh, it's a pretty standard camera app so uh, basically just hit the shutter button to take photos and then you can zoom by pinching in and out and to take video and to switch the mode of the camera you just swipe left and right so now we're in video mode and then to take a video just hit record and uh, you can actually pause the video and then record another segment just by unpausing it and the same video file will continue to record and when you're done just hit stop and one other thing you can actually still zoom while taking a video and you can also take still photos just by clicking on uh, the white shutter while you're recording the video and so that's really useful if you don't want to miss any of the action so those are the basics uh, and then you can also switch uh, to the front facing camera here and you can turn the uh, in this case because we're in video mode you can turn the light on and the LED stays on uh, and then if you are in camera mode uh, you can adjust the flash so do you want uh, auto flash fill flash so if it's not even that dark but you just want to fill in the shadows red eye reduction will do the uh, double flash to make your eyes restrict flash off and then also the uh, always on light so let's leave that in auto and then also if you touch around on the object it will actually do uh, tracking focus so even if you're zooming in and out it'll stay focused on that object uh, and that's actually really handy. And uh, you also have settings. So if you pull up this in photo mode, uh, you can turn on and off the timer, just the color and brightness, the file resolution. So uh, you can do four thirds size uh, aspect ratio, 19 megapixel, all the way down to 12 megapixel in either the four thirds or widescreen 16 by nine. And uh, let's leave that. And then there's some advanced features, including uh, predictive capture, predictive capture, uh, object tracking, and auto capturing. And uh, last but not least, let's switch back to the video. And you can see here you have similar uh, resolution options for video. If you want to do full HD in the high frame rate or regular frame rate, and then HD, VGA, etc. And then for more, you can also do the auto tracking and also stabilization. So these are all pretty cool features. Um, in the additional camera apps, you can do things like creative effects, some AR effects, panorama shot, 4K video, etc. Sound photo, which records like a sound clip with each photo. Uh, those are all interesting. And then last but not least, we have the manual. And this is like the fully manual. So you can pull up these controls and adjust things like the focus mode, uh, white balance, etc. The coolest feature on this phone, the one that makes it really unique, is this, which is the high speed super slow motion. And so this allows you to go up to 960 frames per second, which is extremely uh, high frame rate. So that's especially if you're recording something like a, a baseball game or some kind of sports action, this can come in really handy. Um, so the only trick with it is it's a little bit difficult to do. So the way that the high speed capture works is a little bit unique. You basically start recording and then when the action that you want to capture at high speed happens, you just hit the hit the center button and then it records. And you see that line swipe across. That's actually recording uh, at the higher frame rate. And you can do it more than once in the same video file. So let's stop it and take a look at that. And this should be pretty ugly, but let's see how it looks. And when the action that you want to capture at high speed happens, you just hit... Oops, so I missed it. There we go. Hit the center button and then it records. You see that line swipe across. That's actually recording uh, at the higher frame rate. And you can do it more than once. In there we go. So, not exactly cool, but you can see my fingers moving at a very uh, slow frame rate compared to the full speed. So uh, that's actually pretty cool, um, and we're looking forward to trying this out some more. And here's one more clip that I recorded uh, just before this, showing something dropping in slow motion. Okay, so let's test out the super slow-mo here with a stormtrooper. Three, two, one. 
Go. Definitely pretty cool. We want to play with this a lot more. If you've taken anything really cool and want to recommend it to other people, just leave a comment below and let us know what's cool to test this feature out on. So last but not least, uh, you can see all the photos you've taken just by clicking on the little thumbnail here and that'll go to your uh, photo viewer. So you can see all the pictures you've taken recently in this kind of digest magazine mode and it sort of cycles through in a slideshow as well. So uh, that's basically it. So this was another high speed one we took with a fan. So that's basically it for the camera on the Xperia XZS. If you have any questions, please leave them below and please check out other how-to videos for the Xperia XZS and many other popular phones here on Howtex. See you next time, bye. So the screen is relatively easy to reach uh, without having to juggle your phone and uh, endangering that it uh, drops. So overall, pretty cool.